And I often ask, how can we truly look after people if we don't understand what matters to them? Sometimes when we ask what matters, listening itself is the intervention. And sometimes there's a quick and easy action we can just do there and then. And other times it can lead to proper large scale change. So after around a decade of having these conversations, here's my top three top tips. Simply start with one person, one day, and build from there. You don't have to use the exact words of what matters to you. Use words that feel comfortable to you and suit the situation that you're in. Number two, don't fear the answer. Don't let a fear of the answer stop you asking the question. It's not all about fixing things all the time. I've found that over the years, having a what matters conversation often just gives people opportunity and permission to say something really important to them that they actually otherwise would never have said. Number three, apply the approach right across the spectrum of your work with patients, families and staff. On the 9th of June, we will come together and celebrate what matters to you day. The purpose of the day is to build momentum for what matters to you approach to care. An everyday approach and those conversations and interactions are for every day in every context. Please start the conversation with one person today. It's why we do what we do and it really does make a difference.